What's up guys, it's Chris with Palmer Aquatics. Tonight I wanna to talk about two different plants that are super closely related. Um, I've done videos on both of these plants and it's water wisteria versus water sprite. The question is, a lot of times, is what is the difference between these two plants? They look very close and I kinda of just wanna give you um, a visual of the difference of what they look like and maybe talk about a little bit differences in care and uh, you also have to remember though that plants look different in different waters so let's do this and i'll talk to you about it so here in the entertainment center build over in this tank over here i have some water wisteria and some water sprite growing right next to each other and the reason i grew it right next to each other was to do this specific video and to kind of like uh, take pictures i want to uh, set up like a diagram to show you what the difference of these two plants look like and it's kind of funny because side by side, they look completely different, but a lot of times people still get them mixed up. So this is water wisteria, and this is what it looks like in my water. This is a 20 gallon tall. This is a super cheap Chinese LED. So it's really gonna depend on what kind of water you have and also what type of lighting you have and substrate because it does change the foliage. But as a general rule of thumb, this is what these two plants look like. So this is water sprite on the left. This one has a little bit of algae on it. Um, and this is water wisteria on the right. And as you can tell, the water sprite has kind of like a, it's more of a stringy foliage and the water wisteria has more of like a, the foliage is more spread out and it's more full. So these two plants have very similar care you know, like requirements. You can float both the plants. They're maybe arguably one of the easiest plants to keep in the hobby, but this is what they look like side by side. And a lot of people use water Sprite. Uh, you know, they just float it in guppy breeder tanks and it's a super easy plant. Water Wisteria, I have in a bunch of other tanks as well. And it's weird because uh, this foliage looks different from say, just like a tank over here with a different style light on it. So as you can see back there, that stuff looks more full. It just looks a little more grown and that's because it's just a different style light. Literally a light can make a difference on the plant's look itself. This plant, this light right here is a, this is a Hyger light, just a cheapo Amazon light. And that's what that wisteria looks like. See if we can get a good look at the beta looking ever so beautiful so yeah um i have water wisteria in tons of my tanks and if i'm being honest with you the water sprite it just kind of doesn't do the greatest in my tanks for some odd reason um this over here has taken a couple months worth of growth and this is a dirt tank so this is telling me that water sprite does not like my water or my tanks or something. So, because usually water Sprite blows up on people. But yeah, guys, kind of just a, a simple, small, short little video on water Sprite versus Wisteria. There's always a lot of confusion on that. And also I will state that this Wisteria looks very malnourished and needs to be trimmed. Um, and what you can do here when, with, when a plant looks kind of malnourished like this, you can cut back on it trim it and then just replant it and try to get rid of the open stalks like that section right there i would trim it cut that out throw it away and just hope the plant comes back that's what i'm doing down here and you can tell the plant comes back a lot healthier so without further ado guys um hopefully that helps answer some of your questions on water wisteria versus water sprite as always you can hit up the comment section ask questions Hit up my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, and uh, or you can PM me on Facebook at any time. So, all right, guys, enjoy your day.